Hey guys, good morning. Welcome to Nigera Techies. This is our React.js tutorial. So part of this video, let me explain this error handling and also this is the continuation of my last video. So in my previous videos, I just explained how to consume this REST API in our application and also how to load this uh, table body using this data. And if you not watch the video, I will share the link in the description. You can watch it. So in this video, as I mentioned, uh, we are going to handle this error and also I will explain how to create this custom error message and make sure we have to display to the users. So now let me go to the application. So in this sub component, we are just consuming our services. So once we have the data, let me include this catch option. So let me include the console also. So the response dot message. Okay. So let me save it. Okay, see now we are getting this message failed to fetch. Okay. Now this is the one scenario and the second one is so the, our service is running. Maybe it's not reached the endpoint. Otherwise some authentication error. So in that situation also we have to handle this error for doing this one uh, let me go to this area this response here I am going to include one more console and make sure I run our services okay this is fine okay now let me save it so now the data are loaded so if I'm going to the console I am able to see this response so in this response I have the, all the information and this okay I am getting this true the status is 200 okay now let me check this condition if response dot okay then it is the positive scenario so in this year situation it should be not equal to okay right so in this place I'm going to throw the error so inside the error we can provide our custom error messages Now let me change the endpoint. Okay, then only the error will be acquired. So let me refresh it. See now we are getting this failed to fetch the data. That means we are getting our custom messages. And as a developer, we know we can check from our console, but we how to intimate the user if there is any error. So for that, uh, let me create one display message. So this is the error block okay and then we have to capture this error in this state variable so let me declare one variable also error info and then set error that is the function name so the initial value should be null only So once we have the error, we need to set the error. So in this catch block, we can use this function. Okay, that also fine. And then let me bind this error info in our dev. And here also we can use our conditional template because uh, whenever the error is occurred that time only we supposed to show these messages and if there is an any error uh, this please wait message also we not required to display so then let me take this is loaded 
this loader should be false now let me save it so you know uh, we are getting this failed to fetch data so if record uh, we have to change the style also error message the color should be red Okay, this is fine. So in case if I'm giving this valid URL, then our please wait message is coming and the data also populated. So the same time our service is not running means we will get some other error message. Okay, so now failed to fetch. So this is all about the error handling. Uh, still, if you have any doubts or clarification, please post in the comment box. And also, please don't forget to subscribe my channel. So in my next video, I'm plan to explain how to create a custom hook. So please stay tuned for the next video. Thank you. Thanks for watching.